Did you know that the average American eats enough eggs in their lifetime that if stacked upon each other, they would reach from the earth to the moon and back? I don't know, probably, man. They probably, I don't know if that's true, but it's a lot of eggs. They eat a lot of eggs. Anyway, today we're testing and tasting three different viral egg recipes from TikTok to see if they are truly worth the hype. Now let's go. For the first recipe, I'm gonna be attempting this tornado egg thing, which you've probably seen a lot of on social media. I think I can do that. It looks pretty simple, but again, it's probably super, super difficult. I don't know. Put it over fried rice. Looks awesome. All right, we'll try. This is easy, right? It's gonna be easy. Medium heat pan, little oil. I can do this. It's that blind confidence you get when you've never done something, you're doing it for the first time. Somehow I think it's gonna work out. <laughs> they call it beginner's luck. Okay, I got it. Here we go. Let's go, now we're gonna let it cook for a second. Let it cook for a second. We're looking for a little bit of the cooked egg right around this edge here. Keep that heat kinda high. And here we go, and I'm gonna bring it in into tornado, baby. I'm gonna keep twisting, twist, twist it. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh man. Oh no. This is the first one I've ever tried. I don't like it. I'm gonna try again. All right, my friends, here we go round two. I think I'm gonna start twisting a little bit earlier this time. Let's go, let's go. Keep the twist, keep the twist happening, keep it happening. I didn't get the full swirl, but it's not, it's not terrible. It's not terrible. What if I just tuck up these edges a little bit? I make my own hybrid version. Oh, oh. <laughs> the first one was better. Oh. <laughs> And we'll just pop it on this fried rice here. So again, here was my first attempt. You know, I think the first one even looks better than the second. Because with the second here, I really tried my own thing. It's gonna take a little more practice. I shouldn't have expected to be so good at it right away. That was hard. There was no salt I saw in any of those egg recipes, so I'm gonna season it. I'll also do a little white pepper, and we'll bring Marcus in for a taste. Try this. Loser. I cheated. Don't cheat. One finger. Loser. That's not it. That was like it. This. Never leaves the finger. Loser. Yeah, it does. I think a lot of people see these egg recipes. They don't want to try it because the eggs are still gooey. But wow, that tastes like eggs. My favorite flavor of egg is spiral. This is all for presentation. It's all for presentation. I would always rather have like a French omelet with some fillings than this. However, if you want your eggs to look like a natural disaster, these are the eggs for you. What's next? Hurricane eggs? What's next? Earthquake what? eggs? Tsunami eggs. So hot right yeah. now. Tsunami eggs. I was gonna say tsunami. Stupid. The second recipe today is coming from Grace Elkis and it's this feta fried egg that I've seen recently. I really want to try. She basically just melts the feta in the bottom of the pan, cracks in the egg, and then it turns into this crispy feta cheese shell on the bottom. It goes into a tortilla with a little bit of avocado and it honestly looks really good. Before, before cooking, before, 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 ah! Before we test this next recipe, on a totally unrelated note, I buy this Malden sea salt from England in bulk from Amazon. Link in description. What I wanted to talk about is this salt crystal I found inside of that Malden salt. And it's like chef treasure. Totally natural crystal, looks like a pyramid. There's a quarter for reference. Any cooks or chefs watching this video right now, they know how excited I am on finding this. It's like a super score. So I just thought I'd share. So it's just like big salt? It's re yeah, but really big. That's, <laughs> that's cool. And right now you're gonna watch Marcus eat the entire thing. Pop it down, bud. It's so salty. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Again, I'm starting with a medium heat nonstick pan. And I didn't see her put any oil, so that's not, I'm not gonna do it. Putting the feta in, I'm gonna do a good amount. And I'm gonna crack an egg right in the middle. It's been about three minutes. It's cooking sunny side up style. It looks all brown and crispy. I want to turn off the heat. And just like she did, going in with a little bit of black pepper. Or Sergeant Gilbert reporting for duty. Mustache rub. I've just realized I've never cleaned his mustache and I'm kind of, ooh. And a little bit of pepper flakes. I got a nice tortilla here. Just toasted it up and some avocado. Just smashed avocado. This isn't guacamole or nothing. Although you certainly could. Squeeze a lime. And we are gonna slide out our feta egg cheese thing, just like that. Wow, fits nicely, looks good. That feta is crispy, man. All right, let's bring in Marcus and let's give it a shot. Rise. What are we, a lady in the trampet? Do we scream at it? Ah! Ah! Let's try this feta cheese first. Oh, 
I never knew feta could do nothing like that. Oh! That's here's so the good. That's so good. Here's the thing about crispy cheese. Some cheeses like cheddar, if you cook them in a pan, they get really bitter when they're crispy. Some cheeses get really awesome. This is one that gets really awesome. Wow. And here we go. That's awesome. What do you think, Marcus? I think it? we gotta crispify feta more. Mm -hmm. On another note, I saw her make one with chili crisp. I think we're gonna have to try that. That looks so freaking good. Let's do it. Ah. Same exact deal for this one, starting with the feta. Got a good spread. Good spread. Oh, baby. Oh. Egg in the middle. She actually put her chili oil first, but it's all right. Put mine in now. By the way, this is the chili oil I made from that really viral post. Super good, and I'll link to this at the end of the video. There we go. Oh my. And again, we're just gonna let this cook for about three, four minutes until it's nice and crispy. This one is getting incredibly greasy, so I'm gonna go ahead and do like the uh, pizza trick. Dab it up, dab it up, a little paper towel, dab it up. Look, I love my grease, guys, but lately, I've been trying to watch my cows, so I'm trying to bring it down. Ah! That actually scared me. You almost got taken out by an egg. An egg, dude. I think I might've let this one go a little long. As you can see, it got a little dark, but I don't know. Proof is in the pudding, here. Just like pudding. Okay, let's see how we're doing with this chili crisp here. How many calories in this, Mark? Actually, you like the cheesy one, take that. Zero cal. I like those crunchy bits around the edge. I'll say this, I used two kinds of feta. The first one, the feta was drier and it worked out a lot better. The second feta I used was a lot wetter. It was wetter feta, wetter feta. Wetter feta. And it, it was a little harder to work with. So, get drier feta. Wetter feta did not turn out better. Who said it better? The third and final recipe is coming from my boy, Jason from Jort's Kitchen. I love his content, he is super creative. And this recipe is called tiger eggs. You basically boil some eggs, sear them off in a pan, add a bunch of ingredients, including beer, and cook it down until it's a thick syrup coating the egg. Honestly, these look like they're gonna hit so many notes of flavor and texture, I can't wait to give it a shot. Before we cook the final egg recipe from Jort's Kitchen, let me first tell you about the pans I've been using for this video. And they are from Made in Cookware, a brand I am proud to have as a sponsor of this video because I've been using their products long before they were ever a sponsor. And don't just take my word for it, three Michelin star restaurants like Alinea in Chicago and La Bernadine in New York use these very pans. I really love what Made in Cookware is doing because they are designing professional cookware for you, the home cook. And honestly, for the price, I truly believe these pans bring you the best bang for your buck. These performance nonstick pans are made both in America as well as in Italy. They're non-toxic and believe me when I say these will be one of the best nonstick pans that you're ever gonna use. And they passed 100% of a third party's non-toxic health and safety tests both in America as well as in Europe. Underneath that beautiful non-stick coating, there's a five ply stainless steel that allows for really quick and even heating. This is gonna make it so your pan heats up quick, holds that heat and disperses it evenly throughout that whole pan, meaning your proteins and vegetables are all gonna look great. And unlike other nonstick cookware, these pans can go straight from the stove into a 500 degree oven. And when it comes to cleaning, they are a dream. I usually just wipe it out with a paper towel and it's good to go. You can check out Maiden's nonstick collection as well as their other cookware by clicking the link down in the description. Thank you so much Maiden Cookware for being a sponsor of this channel. I'm truly proud to have you and now back to the recipe. I'm gonna start by lowering seven eggs into some boiling water. Not sure if Jason specified the time on the eggs, but I personally will like, eh, I'll go for seven minute egg for this preparation, which will be just a little bit jelly, not totally hard boiled. On a side note, I'm bald. And I've been trying to tell Marcus on behalf of all bald man out there. You don't appreciate your eyebrows. You don't know what it's like, and I mean it, to fully appreciate your eyebrows. You're like, oh cool, I have eyebrows, that's awesome. I'm like, this is all I got left. If I lose these, I'm gonna turn into a thumb, and I don't wanna be a thumb. You understand? And mine are so thick. Dude, dude. shut <laughs> up, shut so up, low. dude! He's got caterpillars, dude, I got worms. Once the time has elapsed, out they come. <laughs> some pretty eggs. And straight into some ice water to stop that cooking process. And I like to leave them in there for about eight to 10 minutes to fully chill. Time has elapsed. I'm gonna go ahead and start peeling my eggs. Give it a little roll roll. And whenever you're peeling an egg, you wanna get under that little membrane, a little film. And if you don't get under it, you're done. You're done, man. See that? Nice and easy. And apparently, if the eggs are too fresh, it also won't peel. Nice and easy. The next thing Jort does is score his eggs. So I'm doing that. I'll just do four little slits on either side, being careful not to slip through that yolk or center. Something like this seems fine. You just act like you're shooting a basketball and I'll make the egg look like Okay, you're like for where's the where's yeah, the basket? So like be? maybe like to yeah, like over here? Should, yeah, yeah, right there. Okay. This is gonna look so good. Yeah. <laughs> gonna be going? Yeah, we've been going. Okay. <laughs> Butter chicken curry. <laughs> To start, I'm adding oil to a non-stick pan. It's just avocado oil. Got the pan on medium-high heat. Go ahead and add in my eggs. I'm gonna use the exact same recipe and measurements as Jort's Kitchen, although I'm gonna put them in a little bit of a different order. 
Woo, it's starting to get nice and brown now. Okay, I got a good amount of browning going on. I'm adding the Thai chili, four of them. This is gonna be spicy, man. I don't know if you guys know this, Thai chilies are not around. In fact, the other day, Marcus ate an entire Thai chili. Roll the clip. That was a mistake. I regret that immediately. <laughs> God. This gas is coming. You're amazing. Next step, Mirin. Oh, oh, oh. This is why I don't like cooking chilies inside. Maybe that's why Jort added them later in the recipe. Smart guy. <laughs> <coughs> that's better. <coughs> Didn't help. <coughs> oh, the mouth. <coughs> add a beer. <coughs> Whole beer. I'm gonna have a little bit too. <laughs> on camera, I'm so cool. It's 0.0, .0. it's alcohol free. It's not even 0.5 cool, it's 0.0. .0. Heineken, did you know, is the Netherlands number one export? Is that true? That's actually true. Oh wow. When that beer is almost evaporated, we're gonna add rice vinegar, a whole bunch of soy sauce, a little bit of sugar, and gochujang, which is Korean chili paste. Now again, we're gonna let this all cook down. I'm just smashing in that Korean chili paste. It's looking like there's gonna be a lot of sauce left over, but I think that's a good thing, because I'll definitely use the leftovers for something. After around seven minutes, I've reduced the heat to medium low. And as you can see, it's starting to turn into this thick syrupy paste. Wow, this smells so good. I'm gonna let it go just a little bit further and then we're gonna pull them off and garnish them. I just want this sauce to stick a tiny bit more. There we go. Oh my God. I'm gonna drop the eggs onto a plate. I don't think the sauce is getting much thicker here. Ah. Last thing I'm gonna finish them off with is just some more of that sauce, some fresh cut chives, and some sesame seeds. There's only one thing left to do. Marcus, come on down. I don't, I don't know how hot these are gonna be, but here we go. He only has one shot. <laughs> He's, He's done, it. done it. Yeah! Ooh, yeah! Ooh, go, 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 go! Ooh, go, 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 go! Oh, it's so hot, Phil. That was so hot. Oh my God, burnt my face off. Yeah. Mm. The sauce is great. Mm hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Dude, it's so hot still. Oh, it burnt my hand. I put the whole thing in my mouth. The sauce is really good. Mm. It's also the hottest thing that's ever existed. If we would have eaten these five minutes ago, we'd be dead right now. Oh my God. I think they're delicious. My only critique is there's too much sauce or not enough eggs. You could either double the eggs or half the sauce, if that makes sense. Marcus, I mean, my description was perfect. Let's see what you got. The eggs were good when we ate them. <laughs> <laughs> when it went in my mouth, I smiled and happy then I and happy there I was. As always, there are links down in the description for all my favorite kitchen tools and equipment I use on this channel. We've got sweet merch available for purchase. And if you want to keep learning today, here are two more egg-related recipes that I absolutely love for my own channel. Until next time, you know what? I love you in the mouth!